to another thrilling episode of Chrono Commentary. Uh, today we're talking about a super cool watch. I'm excited to be doing another review on another extremely badass addition to their line. It's from Tendence. Uh, this is the Carbon Fiber Chrono. They have a couple different versions in this series. Uh, they have a non-Chrono version that doesn't have a chronograph, and then they've got something that's a different color. I like the black and red. I think it's very awesome. <laughs> it looks fast. It looks super fast. The Carbon Fiber series was launched this year at Basel World, which is obviously a huge deal in watches. Uh, super popular for them. So popular, in fact, they're going to launch this in a couple different color combos. And they're going to launch it in an automatic chronograph version, which I'm going to I'm going to try and get my hands on so I can show you guys because I think that would be awesome. Um, yeah, super pumped. It's badass. It's a badass looking watch. So let's get started. I'll uh, show you some. Uh, I'll show you the packaging. The packaging it comes in is really cool. I think it's an awesome presentation. Get some close ups of some stuff, and also there's going to be some. I'll have some photos and things like that on the blog as well. I'll post that uh, link below. Let's get going. Boom, we are diving in hard. Okay, so here is the packaging. Those of you guys who out there who have wives or girlfriends or ladies watching this, you probably recognize this type of packaging. Um, it's on a lot of purses and things like that. Uh, if your wife or girlfriend or you are somebody who likes uh, fancy higher end purses. They a lot of them come in like a little outer sleeve So I thought that was kind of a nice touch and I don't know how well you can see it here in the video, but um, uh, there you go It's got some cool white on white printing This box is completely different than the last tendence review that I did this whole section slides out It's got the little design by tendence in Switzerland same type of printing on the inside I think it's a really cool presentation. I think it's really nice. There's the watch there's this fancy little guy where your warranty information and product booklet and all those types of things would be stowed safely away. Mine didn't come with anything for some reason or another. Class, let's look. Let's see. Let's see if I got something. Nope. Now for the goody bits. Let's actually get into the watch itself. This is really similar to the last Gulliver model that I did, the Crystal Head Skull, the Dan Aykroyd Vodka Special Edition. Um, same size, wears very similarly. It's really thick on the wrist, but with some similar details. I like this strap quite a bit. It's got kind of that woven carbon fiber look to it with the red stitching. I think it really pops on this on this model. Um, same thing with the red buttons up, up top. I think all of the little detail work in here just really pops. Of course, it's still got the uh, 3D raised dial markers, the numbers on the inside. It's got that lowered um, sub dial down below with the, with the cool carbon fiber texture. Uh, I really like this watch a lot. They use what they call Nitec, which is like a reinforced nylon type of material on the case that's supposed to be lightweight and super strong. It's supposed to be super durable. The strap on this is leather with carbon fiber and it's got a great texture to it. I like it a lot. And of course the red stitching is pretty hot. Tendance on there, tendance on the back, water resistant to a hundred meters. Okay, I do, I, I like the rubber bracelet the tendons does a lot with the little kind of spiky things going down the middle i think that's a real cool distinct look but i mean the detailing on this is really cool the red inside on the strap is fantastic i like and i like this uh i like this strap stay so it doesn't float up it's really cool so this guy's big it's a beefy watch it's 50 millimeters end to end i don't have the specs for how deep it is but it's pretty thick i mean i think it's like probably 13 or 14 millimeters this way, so I'll put it on in just a second. You guys can see what it looks like on the wrist, but it stands up pretty tall. Uh, it's a Miyota OS20 chronograph movement, which I don't know if I'm actually going to keep in the in the video. Mineral crystal on these. They do a Swiss line that actually does um, that actually has uh, sapphire crystals as well, but most of these are, are going to be mineral crystal Japanese movements. 
but really cool. Uh, Tendence's whole thing is is individuality. They want to make big bold statement pieces. So if you're a big bold statement person, then then this might be a good watch for you. I'm going to Vegas in like three weeks. I'm going to wear the crap out of this thing in Vegas. I'm going to take it. I'm going to wear the crap out of it all over the place in Vegas. Killer piece. I like it. Boom. It's a big old, that's a big old watch. Yeah. So there you go. I mean, for being, for being big, it wears really comfortably. Um, with that Nitec material, it's not very heavy, which I like quite a bit. It's not even as heavy as like the diesel uh, Dark Knight Rises or the SBA or anything like that. So it's a big, big watch, but it doesn't wear as heavy as some of the other big dial watches that are out there. So I'm a big fan, man. I, you know, really, I've been a big fan of these guys ever since I did my first review on them. And uh, I'll, I'll, add, I'll continue adding these to my collection. I, I think they're really cool. So there you go. Until next time, peace out. And I'll post some pictures from Vegas. So there you go. That'll be fun too. Hey, dogs, quit, quit, quit.